Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, June 2nd, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is curiosity helps me expand my mind. And hopefully you had a beautiful June 1st um, and experienced some pleasure, gratitude, loveliness. I want to show you. I'm so excited. Um, a local chiropractor acupuncture place just opened they were giving away free herbs and so I got some Tulsi that I brought home and I was like this is so Jupiter and uh, North Node aligned in Taurus because I've been wanting to expand um, my little herb garden to a few more few more things so I bring that up because while it is not the exact meeting we still have Jupiter lighting up that North Node so there's still beautiful time for alignment and it doesn't mean you have to be given a plant um, there's so many beautiful options out there please look for those places to glean pleasure to feel gratitude for being on the earth at this now time so that being said, today has a little bit of a purge energy. <laughs> um, we have Grand Trine water energy. So today we will have Venus, Neptune, and the moon in Scorpio all in a trine. Um, a trine is supportive, uh, but when we have all the water signs activated, we can go deep. <laughs> the feels may be activated while, you know, we have... The Gemini mind energy, we still may have the feels activating some interesting stories within us. But beyond the feels, I also got a feeling of nostalgia coming up through this energy between Venus and Cancer, um, Neptune and Pisces, and the moon in Scorpio. We may be tuning into uh, nostalgic energies around relationships that we've had in the past, anything that's been comfortable for us um, in the past, where we may have felt, I don't know, anything, anything really along those lines. And it may not necessarily be sadness or emotional feelings, but just nostalgic feelings coming up. And if you are having any nostalgia, you know, what I love about that, that there's purpose in everything. <laughs> if that's coming up, is there something that you're missing that you can actually call in, bring into your life now with this full moon in Sagittarius that we'll be building? If you are having any nostalgic moments, it might be the universe being like, hey, you need a little bit more of this for yourself. It also could be, like I said, the purge. <laughs> and there might be emotional purge energies coming up. And that's fine too. Um, just hold space for these things. There's there's a reason. Um, float on. <laughs> um, as I hear that song in my head. Just float on through these energies. Now I would also say that with Venus and Neptune in a trine, just Watch for places where you may also have your blinders on. Um, anytime we have Neptune in play, things can get a little confusing. Things can get a little foggy. So there may be some blinders at play. What I do like, though, is that the moon in Scorpio is going to see right through those blinders. It's like that laser beam vision. So if you have some voice being like, hey, you're not seeing this accurately, dare to listen. So... I'm gonna bring up something so funny, but it popped into my head, and so it's it's worth saying it's worth speaking. So I used to love reality TV a long time ago. I don't even have a TV, so I don't really watch, but I do keep up with like what's going on. And the whole Vanderpump Rules scandal thing, wow, like that's been all over the place, right? And as I was speaking about having blinders on, what came up is Ariana, uh, you know, seemed to have some blinders on. So watch for that. You know, we need that Scorpio to see through. If something sees off, it's okay to address it. And that's part of the energy as we build to a full moon. We want to purge out these things. We want to purge out these energies. We want to drop the extra baggage, <laughs> the extra stuff. That's part of the stress card is like, oh, we're carrying a little bit too much. So just watch for that. 
um, in this energy. We also have the moon in Scorpio opposing Uranus to start the day. And that can have a little bit of a triggery energy. Uranus takes us into the breakdown so we can have the breakthrough. Uranus wants us to evolve. But especially with Uranus and Taurus, it's like, you guys are stuck. I need to prod you a little. I need to poke you a little to get you moving, to get you activating. So do keep that in mind. Um, we're then going to have the moon go void in the evening. It might be a little, a little sleepier of an evening. Um, good night for a bath with all this water energy. <laughs> the moon will move into Sagittarius at 10.03 p.m. Um, and make its first connection, of course, with Pluto hanging out in Aquarius for a few more days. Um, innovation energy, maybe some interesting dreams, maybe some wild and wacky dreams coming through before this full moon. The full moon will be on Saturday evening at 8.42 p.m. Pacific time. So this moon does not have many other connections going on, but it is at 13 degrees. It is that revolution, evolution degree. So this moon is trying, like I said, to purge out the things that you don't want to carry with you as you are in your expansion. Moon in Sagittarius, full moon in Sagittarius is about expansion, um, expanding your horizons, expanding your mind, expanding your understanding, expanding, expanding your experience. Um, it asks us to take aim at what we really, really want. Uh, I did a a uh, thing the other night, I've been um, in a Shakti group with Nicole Ullman, and we were talking about the full moon a little bit, and the song What You Waiting For by Gwen Stefani popped in then, and it just popped in again. What are you waiting for when it comes to aligning with your dreams? That's what this full moon in Sagittarius is asking all of us. So keep that in mind. I will come back and do a full moon scope. Um, but watch for where you're being called to innovate, where you're being called to let go. And this might be mental. You know, this full moon is coming along the side of Mercury and Uranus in conjunction. And so it might be old, outdated, burdenous <laughs> ways of thinking um, that you're meant to release in this. It may be old mental conditioning that you're still heeding, whether it's about your dreams, about the life that you want to live. Watch for that. Watch the stinking thinking. Beyond that, have patience with yourself. Have patience with the process. We are all deep in the experiencing, <laughs> right? Um, the experiencing card is a card of lessons to me. It's like, yeah, there's going to be some challenge, but you're going to grow from this. So just keep that in mind. I also want to say that before I pulled the cards, um, one of the cards that popped into my head is the celebration card. It had It's the card where it has the three girls dancing like this. Uh, <laughs> and um, I always say that card is hard times require furious dancing and I get by with a little help from my friends. So even though I did not pull that card, it popped into my mind for a reason. So just keep that in mind as we're in the purge, as we're feeling this nostalgia, as we're in these energies. So I'm going to leave that here for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values and your curiosity. Namaste. <laughs>